friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome to the Monster Appreciation Fan Club. Today we have an exciting video because the new Huda Full Filter Concealers arrived. Got sent three shades and these two are going to match me the best, which are, I don't know, what are they? Meringue and yo Yogurt Drops. That's a weird name. So we're going to test it out today and I'll do a bit of a weird test and we'll see how it holds up. I'm going to read a small bit of information because I don't actually know what this claims to be. I mean, knowing what the foundation was, it's going to be full, heavy cake face. I don't know. We'll see. Nothing more beautifully snatched and clean makeup under the eyes, blah blah blah. Three years developing this creamy, medium, buildable coverage full filler concealer in 29 shades, that's pretty good. Concealer made for real life, no one that moves with my skin, doesn't crease like crazy and lasts all day. Who has time for touch-ups? The hydrating formula melts into skin for a luminous matte skin-like finish that feels so comfortable and looks amazing. Non-creasing, no flashback formula gets instant coverage that you can build up or blend out to suit your vibe. I don't know if this is already released or not. I'm not sure. So anyway, let's try it out. I'm gonna quickly throw on my usual foundation and then we will test out the concealer. I'm obviously gonna use my Born Glow so I'll put this on and then then we'll move on. Okay, base is on and I avoided my under eyes because I try not to take foundation right up underneath my eyes because I'm going to put concealer there anyway. I think I'm going to use Meringue 2.1N today and let's do one side and compare it to the other. It's got like a really big fat doe foot that actually looks quite nice. We'll see. And I might as well try this brush, the Huda Face Conceal and Blend. So let's see. I'm excited because I love concealer but who knows, right, let's see. Your face in the crowd. I never thought that I would see it tonight. Okay, I feel like a little bit goes quite a long way and maybe I put a bit too much on. Lock eyes, you smile, every single memory comes back. Okay, I'll just blend it out with my sponge. Well, there's a huge difference between this under eye and this under eye isn't there. I mean that looks lovely. It looks really bright. It that looks really nice actually. I hate, by the way, in case you're wondering, I hate the foundation. It is not my thing. It's so heavy and cakey. It looks terrible on my skin. This looks quite nice. It's definitely going in my under eye creases, but not like that bad. And it's not super matte, which is nice. I thought it was maybe gonna be very matte and dry. It's blended on top of my next Born to Glow really, really nicely. Okay, right, I'll quickly do the other side. I'm just gonna use my sponge for this side. Okay, being honest, that looks really, really nice. I actually really like how that looks. This is the kind of makeup, like, base I would do if I was going on a night out or, like, out for like a special occasion or something I wouldn't usually be this heavy not that it feels heavy it actually feels really pleasant let me zoom you in closer so you can get a good look at the under eyes and stuff so you can see like I have like creases under my eyes and it is sitting in them a little bit but it doesn't look terrible um and when I powder that down that should disappear quite a lot but like on the rest of my skin, it does look really, really nice. I've got very normal skin, normal to ever so slightly dry, if you're wondering what my skin type is, but I'd say very kind of normal. I've been quite blessed with my skin. And it's the only thing I've been blessed with physically, but there we are. Nice boobs, maybe. Anyway, that's what it looks like up close. Let's powder it down and then see what it looks like with a bit of powder on, see if I can not get any creases under les you les you how do you say it in french les you yeah the more i look at it the more i think my skin actually looks bloody fantastic to be honest i might as well use my huda powder in sugar cookie if you haven't tried the huda powder before it is really nice it's very very finely milled i've used it i think ever since it launched and i've always enjoyed how it makes my skin look but we'll see like if it goes well with this powder or not and just so you know what i'm using i'll use my maybelline superstay powder just for the rest of my face just in case you're wondering like what i'm gonna set this all down with powder on top i think actually looks really nice it doesn't look bad at all uh my under eyes do they look 
baby new and fresh no but I do have makeup on under there do you know what I mean I don't think they look bad at all considering like I'm 31 I have lines under my eyes it's always going to be the case I think that actually looks really good doesn't look any different to like my usual routine that I really enjoy looks good on my nose looks really nice on my face so I'll rush off finish with my makeup show you when it's done and then we'll give this a bit of a wear test it's only about two o'clock so I'll wear it for a few hours today and then we'll see how it holds up but like my skin looks lovely I think you'll probably agree uh, even if it's a bit much like more makeup than I usually wear um, I'll come back when the rest of my makeup's done we'll see how it looks then I've finished off my makeup and I thought I might as well use a few different Huda products so that when I put like a wee Instagram edit up on you know it's more Huda so like this is Huda Empress lipstick I love it so much I also set with my Huda Sex spray, which I also love so much. Let me add my freckle. Okay, that's my makeup. I actually have not looked at it up close since we last looked at it together, but I mean, my skin looks blooming flawless. What is that about? It's looking nice, right? We'll go look at it in natural light as well, just so we can see it in, in, in that state. Okay, I'm in front of the window. I will zoom in. I hope it's focusing on me. That concealer is lovely. It's really nice. Like it's sitting so pretty. It's got lovely coverage. That colour I used is really nice and brightening on me. I'm really pleased because I did not think I would like it because the foundation is atrocious on me. Like it's too cakey but this is really quite lovely. I'm very pleased so far. So I'm gonna go off, wear this for a few hours and then I will come back and we will see like if anything's changed. I highly doubt it will. I'm only, like all I need to do is go to Tesco, go to the post office and then I'm just, like just cleaning my house for fun. So I'm not really doing much. I won't, don't really expect anything to change but we will see. So I will come back a bit later on and we'll see. It's only about yeah, half two or something just now. So I'll come back and we will, we'll see. Friends. <laughs> Do you remember the last time I did a review and then I went to the pub and I got really drunk and I couldn't fit? Well, I've had like two bottles of wine. But I'm determined to finish this review whilst I'm here and I've got to be honest, right? My makeup still looks so good. Apart from like around my mouth, like it's completely settled into my smile. Like, like so bad. <laughs> but, like under my eyes, that looks just as good as when I put it on. And by the way, the time is five past eight. So it's longer than I meant to be doing this. It looks good on my forehead. It looks good under my eyes. It looks good around my nose. Smile lines. Oh, what's that? Ugh. We'll ignore that because uh, wine. I'll be honest, right? I'll be honest, I was extraordinarily thinking I would hate this concealer because I hate the foundation with a pack. I don't even think I own the foundation. Nope, I don't have one Huda foundation. Nope, that's an ours. I don't even own Huda foundation because I hate it so much. It's so cakey, it's so full coverage, it's so heavy. And like, it's just not what I like. I know other people like it and that's cool. But I really dislike it. But this concealer so far is the tits uh good coverage is not cakey looks really good under my eyes and you saw how much powder i put under there like i really baked and it looks really good so i've got to say i'm really impressed i'm not saying like run out and buy it because it's probably very expensive but if like who does something that you really like if this sounds like something you're into then maybe go and buy it i'm just saying it's only my it's only my so I'm going to end this review here. This this product will be used in upcoming tutorials. We'll keep trying it, but on first impressions, I think it's really good. And I, I would recommend it upon first impressions. Anyway, I'm going to piss off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to become a sausage, and join the sausage family, the Patreon family, the link is down below. It's a great time and I'm going to piss off and continue to drink wine because it's a Friday night and to be honest, whatever. So, 
I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Disgusting!